All right, welcome back to the Badlands. So as morning approaches and the lake is filling, the flats is filling, I have this idea. The game has rolled forward a bit. I'm filling the lake up as usual with the water pouring down. Look at all those beavers over there. But I have this idea, all right? You can see I put in some water dumps here and a lot of pumps, a whole lot of pumps. My reasoning is, is that during the non-drought, water is escaping off the map, all right? It's, it's, it's escaping off the map. Not a lot, and we're coming out of a recent drought. Not a lot, but it is definitely escaping. And it seems to me like if I want to ever fill this lake up, I've got to make sure that no water escapes, which means pump after pump after pump. So this, this is now really the pumping district. Or should rename it. I think I will rename it. Yeah, this is uh, the pumping district. And that's your sole job, is to pump. And uh, you can see this district. You know, really, I haven't paid much attention to this district. Look at the, look at the science. We have 2,090 science. I need to use up some of the science. It's ridiculous. But I'm not really paying attention to this district at the moment because I'm completely obsessed with filling this lake up. And that's, that's how Timberborn goes for me. I have a plan and then I become obsessed with the water. <laughs> the water simulator. Oh, somebody had an idea in the comments and I've recorded three of these episodes in a row. So this is a little delayed, but somebody had a question in the comments. Couldn't I just use the water? instead of the path for beavers to deliver goods. Yes and no. Not at the beginning because I couldn't build this far over. Potentially I could have, if I had built this road, potentially I could have had this district's builders build steps. But the thing is, that is a fantastic idea because if you tear up this road, put steps in and force the beavers to use the waterway instead, they get the speed, the new speed bonus for being wet. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, because it's such a good idea. And and then, you know, we put a path here, and then we put a path down in the water. And then I'll tear up the uh, above, above water path. All right. Wait, I put the district gate in. The path goes underwater. What are you guys doing? It said they couldn't distribute goods until I put this gate in. They're just they're just walking across the the land, but uh, they should be able to distribute goods now, right? There's no warning. Nope. There's no warnings. All the all the routes are on. Good. So yeah, if we speed it up, we'll see that. Uh, let's let's watch this dude. He's gonna go down in the water. He's gonna he's gonna walk his underwater path, and uh, he's getting some wet fur, which means he is. Walking speed plus five and protects from overheating. How about that? There he goes. And I've, I've broken this path so they don't take the above ground path anymore. I need trees over here. I need trees big time. Now I'm shipping logs over here. From this district because we have so many logs. See how we're just full of logs over here? There's uh, two log routes. Uh, if I click on this you can see that there's literally two log routes to the pumping district. And we still can't ship enough logs. So I know it's night, but this is evidence that I'm pumping just about all the water I can. Because you can see the water had dried up all the way back here. Now it's it's night and it's running back. So I, I believe it's almost daytime. What's going to happen here is, is that we're going to lose some water at night. And then, I don't know, can we suck it back in once they turn on the pumps? I don't think so. I think we lose that water overnight. I can't make the beavers work at night. Maybe I can. I don't think I can without them dying. But once they start pumping, this should dry out. All right, look, we've look 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 look. We've pumped all the water out. But well, at least none's pouring over the dam at this point. Which is good, I suppose. I don't mind if this dries up. Though it would be nice if we had more wood to cut. I could put in a tree planter here, but the thing is, this district, we need, we need 11 more beavers for jobs. And if we look at the population of just this district, we only have three of the beaver childs right now. So I probably need more housing. 
I'll go ahead and put in some more housing. I think we have enough food. Yeah, I'm shipping it. We have a lot of berries in stock, and I'm shipping over a bunch of carrots. As long as I don't run out of carrots in the first district, everything will be fine. I'm going to spend the science and unlock the triple lodge because I can. All right, we got, we got a drought in three days. So I put in some meters here to look at the water level. The highest water level so far is 0.45, which is where we're at now. I mean, we're above the stump level, which I think is better than last time. So what few water dumps we have working, actually, yeah, what few water dumps we have working, and we do have some. Their problem is they can't get enough water because they don't have enough pumpers. All right, we're uh, less than a day away from the drought. You can see the stream gauge, our highest water level was 0.54. There's a lot of evaporation in here, I guess, because it keeps dropping. See how it's 0 0.53, 0 0.54 maybe because it's sloshing in there. I uh, added a couple of pumpers outside the dam here so that uh, we're sucking up as much water as we can. Although right now we're losing water. You know, you know how I feel about that. But we don't, we just don't have enough beavers yet. We've got this new house up and uh, it's an old folks home with one kid. And uh, if we look at this district now, you can see we do have six of the beaver childs. So we're ramping up in this district and we still have plenty of water. So when this drought hits, let's see how long this drought is. That's, that's the big question. We have yet to have that full turn it up to 11 day drought. 10 days. It's not 11, it's a 10 day drought. Highest water level is uh, 0 0.59, 0 0.6. I'm still putting water in this reservoir. It's not going to be running out here, but I'm still putting it in. And I'm still going to pump here. I may pause because eventually this will dry out, though there's nothing really important here. Uh, the important parts, I think, are right over here. And I'm going to make sure this stays full of water because I'm going to be emptying the lake if we need it. And yeah, all our little deliverer beeves are going to be nice and cool. But anyway, I want to speed through this drought and uh, see, see what it does. So I'm going to sit here and watch this. You can see we're absolutely full of water. I'm going to leave all the pumps on. And as this stream gets too low, I'll, uh, I'll backflow some water into it. Did I put a stream gauge in here? I should have put a stream gauge in here. I thought I did. Yeah. This one's just too far away. All right, we'll put one right here. Also, for the pumping district, I did dare to turn on a minimum of 12 beeves. Minimum of two beaver kids, too. So check out what has to be the evaporation. Can I, can, I put, can I put a lid on this thing so it doesn't evaporate? But yeah, check out the evaporation. Water level is already down to 0.52. Highest water level was 0.6. And we've got some significant... Okay, we dried this area out. These pumps are done. I have to pause these now or else this district will run out of water. I have to. That is annoyingly twitchy, but what are you going to do? All right, so all the pumps are paused. So we should not run out of water here. We do have one pump to help fill up the water. Am I comfortable with one pump? Yeah, two pumps would be ideal, wouldn't it? I'm going to put in one more pump. Just because we've got a pretty big population over here. Down to 0.48. So without even using this water, we're dropping to 0.48. What does this mean? What are we over here? Down to 0.36. Is it use it or lose it? Do I have to dump here or else I'm going to lose all this water? All right, we're six days left of the drought. We're at, uh, over here, we're at uh, 0.18 versus highest water level of 0.71. I'm going to go ahead and do a dump. Not that fast. Don't waste the water. We're wasting the water. Easy there. <laughs> okay, we're, we're going to dump a little slower. There we go. And, yep, I don't want to waste water. So, so we'll turn it off now. 
We're just sloshing back and forth, basically. And I do want these... I put up some new uh, dumps, and I do want these paused, please. I tell you what, the water level in this little creek drops scary fast, down to 0 0.7, 0 0.6. I'm going to have to do another slosh. Not too fast. This isn't automated by any stretch of the imagination. I just don't want to run out of water. It seems like we have a lot of water left. One more slush. There we go. So what do we got? Okay, the top of the stumps are showing over here. And we have uh, about 0.2. It's it's sloshing around. And then over here now, we have 0.19, but it's also sloshing around. It'll slosh back. Two days left of our 10-day drought. And we're drying up. It's time to slosh. Slosh it down. There we go. I think we can survive 11 days. I really think we can. Uh, because the lake is still above the edge of the river there. And I don't think I have to let all this water through. I think that's good enough right there. Let's stop it. So now in here we have 0 .09. We don't have a lot. But then again, we're not, yeah, we're not to the river banks yet. We're not in the river banks. You're thirsty. I don't know why. Just go get some water. You're, you're walking in the water. This is only 0 0.09, but it's going to slosh back. And we are down to oh, about our last day of the 10-day drought. But we do have enough beeves in this district now. Check it out. We have... Uh, no, we don't. We don't have enough beeves. Because when I, when I unpause all of these, we're not going to have enough beeves to dump all the water. So here we are in the last day. All right, we, we've run dry. The blueberries stay alive for nine days. That's not a problem. The carrots are alive, except for way down here. And they die in 1.8 days. I'll slosh some water and it shouldn't be a problem. Look at all this. You're set to harvest. You're set to harvest. You're set to plant. Look at all this. You're set to harvest. You're set to plant. Yeah. The, Carrots, carrots for the world. All right, let me slosh some water. The drought is over, or it's going to be over by morning. I'll slosh the rest of the water here. Not the rest, but not that much. Slow it down. All right, wow, we're, I mean, I mean, what do you think? The drought is over. I'm down inside the riverbanks here. And I've sloshed some water around so that we shouldn't dry out for very long. The water will return, but man, that was close. That was close. Let's see here. Yeah, you can see I was able to slosh the water all the way back to here. And where's the water here? It's coming. Wow. I mean, I think we can survive 11 days without any deaths. But it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. I'm going to unpause all these. If I can ever get enough beeves in this district, we have a chance to use up all the water and put just put the maximum amount of water in here. So that's step number one. Step number two... Why are you guys thirsty? Uh-oh. Oh, this pumps on. What's what's up with you? You're ex <laughs> exhausted. Well, I don't think you guys are doing anything. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you're doing anything. So let me uh, let me migrate everybody out of cliffside for now. And yep. I don't I don't want any minimum here. We're gonna we're gonna empty out cliffside and then now 
Well, they're not registering yet. But I think the pumping district needs some more. Let's put 46 in here. Oh, no beavers don't have jobs, really. Well, let me sort that out in a minute. You're exhausted. You could die. I'm sorry. But, you know, you're in the shade. There you go. You're going home now, too. What are you going over here for? Did you just steal all our water? Wow, we ran out of water fast. Okay, but the pumps are going. Uh, let me slosh some to help out. There, maximum slosh. Let me get some over on the... Uh, can I get over the dam top? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> okay. Alright, there we go. So we are going to start out at a water level of zero. Almost zero. It's a little above zero. And we need to get hopefully back up to 0.6. And you guys are all thirsty. Mm-hmm. I can see that. All right. We're not quite balanced yet is the problem. You guys are stealing all the water. So let me get the thirst situation taken care of. And uh, hopefully you won't all die. Because I just got you back up. I could migrate you. This district's fine, right? Yeah, this one's fine. We're, we're full of water. Uh, did we lose... No, we have five of five haulers here. I don't think you're hauling water, though. Yep. What's the happiness in this district? Three. Well, you're not dead yet. Maximum slosh. There we go. There we go. We're over the dam. That's all I wanted. Get over the dam. Beautiful. Now all that think you ought to save. Now all the pumps are going. And slowly but surely, we have any death by... Die to thirst. No, and the thirst icon's going away, but we're still really low on water. Okay. I still need to do some rebalancing. Holy cow. This map, I tell you. Well, we knew. We knew. We knew. I'm going to keep this down for a little bit. I've got to get water back into here. Now you're hungry. All right, we have 2,000 carrots over here. Let me add a new route of carrots. And we'll get your water levels back up. Good grief. All right, in this district now, we have enough beeves to actually fill up the hauling post. So now, now, with everybody seemingly doing okay, we had some death of old age, but I don't see any death from thirst or hunger. And this district now has 135 carrots. Okay, I don't know what happened. But we definitely need to get more carrot storage here. I think I'm storing uh, maybe a max of 180 carrots. That's not good. But 50 carrots here. Alright, let me bump up the carrots. And I don't think I have any district distribution limits that would hurt me. For carrots, I said I want a maximum... Oh, 150? No, I want a maximum of uh, 400 carrots, please. All right, let me start unpausing these. And as far as cliffside goes, I'm going to... For cliffside, I'm going to say that uh, we keep a minimum of four here. And I don't know where they're going to work. There's going to be no builders. They're going to work in the farm fields. So Cliffside has carrots. and only has one water pump that dries out. And we are collecting metal, but I think we're full. So let's pause. Let's pause these guys. Man, Cliffside. I forgot about Cliffside. And now we have somebody in the pumps. And we have two farmers. I said I sent four people over here. Where'd they go? 
Yep, you're paused. Actually, you're deleted. Okay. This gives us one worker. Alright, good. Cliffside's back up and running. And you're loaded with... You're absolutely loaded with carrots. I could build a distribution hut to ship the carrots back. I don't think I will. Alright, so we moved forward just a little bit more. I cannot unpause these without this entire community. Do you call it a community? The pumping district going thirsty. Uh, right now we have 49 water, but I was completely out of water. The, the dumpers are too efficient. And uh, we do have some food there. Uh, the cliffside is doing okay. I had to add a new district. I'm calling it the Old City. Reason being is that I got cliffside to actually tear this stuff down. The problem is a little maple grew up and nobody would destroy it because nobody could reach it. So now, uh, this is the, uh, the responsibility of Old City. I just shipped four beavers in. And we do have a number of works workplaces here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause this so that we have two of you in here now. You ought to be able to chew on that. Although, you don't really need to now because it's not going to be a district anymore. Uh, I'm going to have steps down here and we're going to build a dam right here. That's what we're going to do. Uh, do I have... I don't think I have any planks over here. Nope. I built a new warehouse just for the metal. Let's, let's uh, put some planks over here. It's District Palooza. Ten planks ought to do. Yep. And then we got to ship planks. And... It's... You can reach it. The main district can reach it. Oh... I set these for destruction a long time ago, and guess who can't reach this? These guys can't reach that. Oh well, that's another problem. Anyway, for you, we have six evade in here. Uh, let's add a new route, and let's select the drop-off point. Guess what I forgot to build? Wait a minute. <laughs> right, this is under labor. It's going to be a drop-off point right here. There we go. District distribution limits of planks is going to be 10. All right, now. Ooh. Shift speeds up the movement with the keyboard. I didn't know that. <laughs> All right. Add new route. Select a drop-off point. Hit the shift key. Wah. Right here, it's going to be planks. Yep, planks. They'll arrive shortly. And then... We'll get some steps built down here. And then it's time to build a dam. I'm going to build that dam. I said I was going to build a gate, a floodgate. We only have 2,304 science. I'm going to build a floodgate because I can control the floodgate from anywhere. And that floodgate is going to go... Where is it going to go? Uh, I think it's going to go right here. Yeah, they ought to be able to reach that. And they can't really reach it now because of these steps, but they'll be able to reach it soon. Let me put this path in. There you go. Get this built. Can't get all the required materials. I know, we're shipping the planks in. And then this requires five more planks and ten logs. And it's not perfect, but uh, it'll do good enough. And I'm gonna I'm gonna raise the height to one, so we completely cut off the water when that sucker's done. All right, let's speed up the game. See how that works out. In the meantime, you guys don't have any food whatsoever here, so I'm gonna have to kick you out because I'm not shipping food over here. True story. Yep, you're gonna go hungry. So I'll have to kick you out. All right, three days to the next drought. I'm, I'm going to build. go ahead and build a distribution post here. You guys are hungry. Did you get this built yet? No, not quite. Should I? Should I? Yep, I'm going to cheese it. We're going to, uh, we're going to select this. We're going to do migrate population. And we're going to take uh, the old city and we're going to drop you down to zero. And you're going to go home? 
the hungry ones are going to go home and get fed. And then I'm going to migrate population and to the old city. I'm going to bump you back up to four. And my thinking is that this will bring over some noobs that are not hungry. And we'll continue this work. Do we have any planks? The planks just got dropped off. There it is. Ten planks. And our total plankage requirements are four, nine. Perfect. All right. All we need are the builders. You guys showed up, right? Yep. We got two builders. You know what? I'm going to pause this pump. We don't need you. I don't need you to cut this down either. Don't need you. Now we should have four builders. All right. Get it built fast enough and you won't get hungry. I'll send you home. So while they're working on that, we are at our highest water level right now, 0.65. This is the highest water level this lake has been. So I guess there is some good news. I do have some of the pumps in operation. I don't think they're doing any good whatsoever. So what, what I need to do... You guys are hungry already? Oh, but you got this built. All right, let's shut this district down. Yes, yep, let's shut this district down. Old city is down to zero. You may, you may leave. And that cut this off to a trickle. Now, if I move this to 0.5, nothing's happening. If I move it to zero, something happens. Just 0.5. Yep. So the problem with this, all right, is that it'll it'll fill up this area faster, but we're going to lose water here, which is uh, not going to make us very happy. Hmm. I have to think about that. We got 1.3 days to the drought. Uh, what do we got as far as the level here? 0 0.73, 0 0.74. Wow, it's rising. It's rising at a pretty good clip. I'm not sure what's going to work better, this or a dam, but I'm going to go ahead and lower this to zero so that we split the water flow up again. And uh, we do have one day before the drought. It was interesting though, isn't it? I think a dam's going to do better there. Do I know this for sure? No, I don't. I don't think a dam would overflow enough either. I wonder if I need to put an extra gate in. Well, I mean, we might as well try. We should have more planks over here. We have five planks. That's enough to build a gate. For future experiments, anyway. And I want to put the other gate right here. I'm almost certain a beaver is going to get stuck on the wrong side of this gate. Yep. Well, you know... You might want to talk to somebody who cares. Three beeves into Old City. Full speed ahead. Let's get the three beeves in there. Let's get this built. Let's make sure this is the uh, highest priority just in case. I don't think anything, anything else is set. And uh, as long as you work on the correct side here, I can set both of these to 0 0.5. I don't know if that's going to do any good whatsoever. It'll be interesting. It'll give me more options. All right. It's just a seven-day drought. We have yet to have an 11-day drought. Seven-day drought. And this is at 0.84. How about that? 0.84. Okay. You guys are going to rapidly pump this dry. So let me turn off one of these pumps. And then over here, you're going to get this built. How many planks are over here? Nope, you should have... There, it's built. Okay. Old city, you're, you're turned off again. You can go home. And I don't have any minimum set, so that's not going to be a problem. There you go. Off you go. And so this is set at 0.5, and this is set... Yeah, I can't... So this will actually back up the water back in here, but I don't, I don't think that's going to do any good. But I might have to think about this. That's definitely not going to do any good. It's too bad I, these, these don't work in quarters. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep them at zero for now. Keep them both at zero. So that when the water comes in, it flows 
the way it usually flows, which is the split. All right, mistake number one. I didn't turn these off in time, and this district is going to be out of water because we only have two active pumps. And so the water in this district is only 13. Therefore, I have got to overflow this. Well, that'll do it. All right, everybody's turned off. Oops, okay. So now you can pump. Yeah, we're, we're losing water. Okay, water was wasted. Uh, luckily, it's only a seven-day drought, so, you know, this is practice. It's a practice run. Anyway, we've got all our pumps up. We can pump this, uh, this short little area dry, but uh, that should, I would hope, give us enough water to keep all these beavers alive. And I built even more housing here. And, you know... Yeah, I I really can't afford this many beavers. I'm going to have to delete some homes, I think. What is the housing at this district? I have 44 adults, two children. I have 42 occupied beds and still four homeless. Man, what are you doing? What are you doing? You need, you need, what is this? This is the pumping district. You have 16 unemployed. Let's cut these numbers down. To 38. Alright, and then uh, now we just have 10 unemployed. Yeah, the, the pumping idea is not working very well. You know, the other idea I had, thank you autosave, the other idea I had is to build a district up here whose sole job is to pump water out of here, which I made very difficult to reach, but to pump water out of here and hand deliver it over here yeah yeah <laughs> uh well you know that's that's the way this map was designed to see if this was doable or not the big question right now is where am i going to get the power the power to like make dynamite because I can certainly unlock dynamite at this point. And uh, the metal, you know, I can unlock... What do we got? We got 2100. The smelter is uh, 300. That's an easy unlock. And as far as landscaping, the uh, explosive factory for 400. Dynamite for 600. That's really all we need right now. And I'll uh, unlock the double floodgate because... Consistency. And what is what is our water level sitting at? Highest water level was a 1.01. Wow. Oh, it flowed back. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that it flowed back. I wonder if I should put this over more. Because what happened was when the water was flowing out, I raised this gate and it splashed back, and put the level at at one. I'll just reset it. There we go. These pumps are dry. We have a decent amount of water now in the village, but will that last for 3.6 more days? This water's running low now. All right, without sloshing too much. There we go. It's just, I don't, I don't really want it. As soon as it starts overflowing here, yep, let's close it up. So you saw me take Old City to zero, right? But there were still beavers over here. Maybe I didn't. I'm going to have to review the video. But they were still over here and they were starving. How did they get over here? I don't know. I do not know. However, I think what I'm going to do... Yeah, you're going to go through your water pretty darn fast. What is the water here? You only have 40 water here. You have 33 water here, but there should be no beavers unless they magically create themselves. 40 water. Is that going to be enough? I think no. I think you're going to run out of water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, well, the easy way to solve this is to take 
This is the cliffside. Minimum of eight. Let's drop this all the way. Oh, look. Old city goes up. So the closest district goes up. So if I lower cliffside to 15... Uh-oh. Alright. Cliffside to 15. Then I take... Old city. And if I reduce this... Old city goes up. If I have main jam highlighted... Then I can take cliffside. No, you're still giving to old city. Okay, the only solution here is to... Delete... Old city. Delete the district gate. Put up... Uh, nope. Just put up a path. There we go. I don't really need old city anymore. Alright. Now go over here. You now have more water because you have a few more water tanks. And if I hit Migrate Population... Cliffside, I want your population all the way down to 20. And now you're going into the Pumping District. Why aren't you going back to Main Jam? Fine. If you don't want to follow my instructions, you're going to perish. Okay? And that's just all there is to it. Alright, so if I take Cliffside to zero... Cliffside's now zero. Now I add the main jam to reduce from the pumping district. And minimums in the pumping district only are 15. Wow, that's pretty confusing. But I think it's going to work. You guys can go home. Yeah, you're supposed to be zero. What, what are you doing? You can go home. I sent you all home. All right. Right? And now we have a huge population over here. The main jam now has 29 beavers unemployed. Wow, okay. I, I gotta I gotta do a bunch of thank you auto save. I gotta do a bunch of finagling with this. Let's go ahead and release some more water. Thank goodness this is only a seven day drought, eh? Cause obviously I didn't clearly understand how this was supposed to work. Uh, we have one point three days left. So, this is a pretty decent water release here. That should last until the drought's over. And we're not at stump, you know what I mean by stump level? We're not at stump, stump level yet, or stump height. Nice. Solid water release. Did I release too much? No. Perfect. Okay. All right. And cliffside is, or, uh, yeah, cliffside is turned off. They do have their own distribution post now. That's good, but uh, they're turned off. Good grief. And then if I want to do this again, I have got to... I don't know. I'm, I'm confused by the population thing. I guess I get it, but it's just a little, a little odd the way it works. Now... You're gonna be you're gonna be going through this water like crazy. I didn't turn any of these pumps off, which I guess is kind of good since there's so many beavers here now. And I added more homes. Yeah, I need we need more jobs. We need more jobs big time. <laughs>